Now you'll assemble your Bosch Colt spindle mount. Start by putting V-wheels onto the screws provided, followed by aluminum spacers. Then stick the screws through the holes on the plate. You'll notice again that there are two size holes for mounting V-wheels, smaller ones and larger ones. Again, these correspond to nylock hex nuts and eccentric nuts. Be sure you use nylock hex nuts on the smaller holes and eccentric nuts on the larger holes. Start by finger tightening the nylock nuts. Then put the eccentric nuts in, again making sure that the shoulder faces the plate so that it can get seated in the larger hole. Get all of these connections tight. And then make sure that the eccentric nuts are oriented out and away from the V-wheels with the nylock nuts. Now we'll attach the Bosch Colt mount to this plate. Use small screws from the back side of the plate into the threaded holes of the Bosch Colt mount. Insert your Bosch Colt into the mount, and then put a clamping screw with a lock washer into the threaded hole. You'll notice there's also a mount for accessories. You can go ahead and mount that screw at this point too. Slide the Bosch Colt out. and put the spindle mount onto the Z-axis maker slide. If you're having trouble, make sure that your eccentric nuts are oriented out. Line the two holes on the plate with the Delrin nut and thread two screws into it. Start by getting these screws finger tight and then wrench them down. Put your Bosch Colt back into the mount and tighten the clamping screw as hard as you can.